Heading into the 2016 season, Primetime League counts down the top five most exciting off-season roster moves from the LCK, LPL, and LMS as we look back on their biggest plays from 2015. Coming in at number five, the Taipei Assassins say goodbye to their mid laner Chowie as he heads over to the AHQ Esports Club. At number four, LGD bids farewell to top laner Flame and his gnarly initiations as he returns to Korea and joins Longju Gaming. Imp, he's the only person with AoE wave that he doesn't do it. In a turret's gonna fall down, Death Sentence on a Flame, but he's about to go into Mega Nar. Super Mega Death Rocket comes in, MLXG, very low. Oh. Look at the five man Nar from Flame! Watch this replay. Remember, there is no TBQ during this fight. Everyone tries to peel for whoosh, and thus everyone gets nod into the wall. At number three, 2015 world champion Easy Hoon looks to continue stacking up the solo kills from his days on Korea's SKT as he makes his way over to China's VG Gaming. I just wonder now, I mean, it really, these games really do TV. Whoa, flash ult on Akuro. Easy Hoon going in. He pops the ignite. Is it enough? Easy Hoon. Whoa, did you get him? The poison ticking. He no! got him. Curl's at full HP right here, and he has blue buff. Yeah. Easy Hoon just gets behind the Sand Soldiers, uses that Ignite. Kuro tries to get away, well, he loses his flash, and then the last hit. At number two, OMG's former AD carry Uzi aims to carry over his insane vein mechanics to the Chiaogu Reapers. Oh, <laughs> And at number one, 2015 World Championship MVP Marin will be leaving Korea's SKT and look to continue making the outplays as he joins LGD Gaming in China. No one attacks down yet. The boomerang goes out. Not gonna fly slow. Wow, Morin just eviscerates Beautiful it. Play. That's a double. He has what got his play. And SKT demolish H2K.